Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website, which is eight self-improvement lessons that well over a thousand of my therapy clients have taught me over many years. Lesson four in that website, in that series, is about improving your relationships. I want to offer you something that I've observed that can help you improve your relationships uh, if you choose. That is to distinguish between anger and frustration. Do you think that anger is a quote negative emotion? Do you think that frustration is a negative emotion? Many people think at least anger is because often it results in some kind of emotional, psychological, physical damage. I propose that all emotions are natural, normal, and helpful if you use awareness to determine what's causing this emotion and what is it suggesting that you need. Anger, if you really look closely at it, is a normal, primal response when we are either scared, i.e. threatened by something that we perceive as dangerous to us, or anger follows hurt. It can happen in a heartbeat, but I propose any time you get, quote, angry, unquote, stop, take a breath, and say, am I feeling threatened or in danger about something, and if so, what? Or, have I been hurt by something or someone? If so, what is it that hurts? The anger is a symptom. It is not the problem. It's like a light in the darkness pointing you towards something you need. Frustration, if you turn the microscope on frustration, you'll find that in every case, frustration is the normal neurological, emotional, psychological response to feeling I can't get my need filled. One or more needs at the moment, you cannot find a way, an effective way of filling your need. Needs are discomforts. So frustration occurs when you're uncomfortable and you can't find a way to reduce your discomfort. So let me recap. Anger and frustration are normal, helpful emotions. They're not negative. They point to different things. Anger follows either feeling hurt or threatened. Frustration, which feels just the same as anger, uh, unless you really stop and take a breath and evaluate it. Frustration comes from feeling, I can't get my need met right now one or more needs. How do you feel about this? Do you think this makes sense? These two emotions are different. They have different origins. So what? So this. The next time you feel angry or ask yourself, am I angry or am I frustrated or am I both? If you're angry, say, what is scaring me or what has hurt me? Answering those questions through the skill of awareness opens up the possibility of doing some problem solving or some assertion. If another person has hurt you, an option is to approach them in a non-combative way and say, you know, when you did X, it really hurt me. That won't make the feeling go away, but it will help clarify your relationship and possibly prevent it in the future. If you conclude using some awareness, I really feel frustrated. What you can do with that is say, okay, what need, what current need am I having trouble filling? What do I need? The second skill in lesson two, which offers you seven real powerful skills that you can learn. The second skill is called digging down 
it's a way of mentally reviewing what do I think I need why do I need that oh I need this well why do I need this oh why do I need that it's sequentially going down below surface needs to identify what you really need at the moment so frustration is useful once you identify it and label it and separate it from anger and say I need something you may not be consciously aware of that need and this allows you to become conscious of it and that opens up the possibility of using the seven lesson two skills to do some problem solving and creative thinking and fill your need when you do that frustration goes down if you feel anger and frustration use awareness breathe easily avoid blaming yourself or anyone else that makes it worse stop to think if I'm angry what has hurt or scared me if I'm frustrated what do I need which of these do I want to work on first use a prior prioritize you can't work out of both use problem solving and clear thinking and digging down to fill your need I hope you find this idea credible and more than that useful if you encounter someone else who is angry or frustrated ask them are you angry or are you frustrated they probably won't know you might need to explain the difference if they say well I'm angry because blah 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 use empathic listening to validate them doesn't mean you agree and then say what do you need help them help them get clear you're not there to solve their problem you're not there to fill their need necessarily but you can be of great service to you and your relationship if you help an angry or frustrated person see the difference understand the difference and use the difference to get more of their needs met and respect you as someone who cares about them and you both so there's a lot you can do with anger and frustration instead of just shrugging it off or throwing something across the room or screaming at somebody I hope you'll try this out and enjoy the results study lessons one and two afterthought people who are chronically angry frequently are ruled by a false self and they don't know it or and or they may be stuck grieving something part of normal grieving is anger or even rage chronic anger may symbolize um, grief that is stuck if so see lesson three if someone's false self is ruling them and causing their constant anger see lesson one on lesson four there's a lot you can do study the break the cycle website watch things improve thanks for watching